The difference between um, Selfridges and Marks and Spencer, you may think this isn't really very important, but think of it in, 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 in London, in um, Oxford Street. Uh, Selfridges is that grand shop with the amazing facade, the beautiful sculptures on the walls, and Marks and Spencer's is a sort of tired uh, art deco effigy. Um, well, <clears throat> there's room for the art deco. There is some art deco which is stupendous. I don't think Marks and Spencer's is a very good example of this. And uh, Selfridges, in contrast, is a national treasure. So flattening the Marks and Spencer store in Oxford Street, uh, the thing which was put up in 1929, would be perfectly reasonable and building some sort of state-of-the-art uh, M&S supermarket. Great! This was given the go-ahead um, the end of last year and has now been stopped or paused on the whim of Michael Gove. Now, in response to uh, this, there were a slew of anti-Gove articles plastered across the newspapers from Fleet Street at the beginning of this week. And um, Gove looks really um, more like a beast than any other member of the Boris cabinet. And I think that is, broadly speaking, unfair. Of all the guys who should go, he is, frankly, the least objectionable. Um, a, a, a friend of mine told me um, yesterday or today, I, I, I can't remember when, actually, um, uh, that, uh, um, that, that, that Mr Gove was lovely, lovely to work for, in contrast to working for Dominic Raab, who she said was a shit. Um, now, um, not something I have to question, um, and it seems perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Um, her opinion, it's her opinion, so I don't need to italicise that word, shit, um, and I don't need to camouflage it with words, with adverbs, like allegedly or supposedly. Um, that's what she said, Dominic Grab is a shit, and um, <laughs> really unpleasant to work for, and it makes perfect sense to think of Dominic Raab um, like that uh, when, 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 of course, we know he was busy sunning himself um, when he should have been coming back to the UK and sorting out the problem with Afghanistan. He didn't. Uh, only a shit would put sun, cle sun cream before the support for those people, the many Afghans who gave us their help in Kabul and Helmand province um, and who he left to the mercy of the Taliban. So from that point of view, you know, I think we should give Michael Gove a chance. And of course, he's blessed in the trousers department, allegedly, uh, rather like Andrew Lloyd Webber. I mean, I don't know whether that's relevant. <laughs>